Okay. Tuesday night blitz chess Swiss. For those who are members of the team. All right, let's let's have some fun here. Three, two, nine rounds. See who we get. Like over the board chess, but not. All we can do is focus on each round. No rush. One game at a time. What are we gonna get? All right, we'll meet we'll meet D four with D five against Sir Strife. Okay. Nice and easy. Step by step. How aggressive are you gonna be with the C pawn? Not budging with the C pawn. One or two steps. None of the above. All right. So it's clear. This bishop wants to fianchetto. I want my bishop out and about. My bad guy. Only then e6. You take me, maybe. Um, I'm actually recalling playing, I think, against a, well, a longer game against a human that later turned out to be a, a cheater account, I believe, where I kind of got smashed with this idea with doubled, doubled pawns and the computer ended up doing something with uh, these pawns and I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to recall how that game went. Okay, I'm not so sure about taking the bishop. I, I prefer to uh, just back off. Maybe, maybe give me this file. For as long as this tension remains, one thing that I could say is uh, I don't have to worry so much about the c-pawn contributing. There's more work to be done in order for c4 to be played. Also, I don't know if I really want to play this because I would open up this bishop's eyes along the main diagonal. So let's just stick with knight to d7, trying to neutralize this knight. His one big big jump is under control now, somewhat. He could still go there. Um, here's another thing. Initially I was thinking about going here, but it, it, if I go here and the knight jumps in, then I cannot take with the knight. I end up in a fork. So... I don't want to put my bishop in a... I don't want to set my bishop up for that potential tactic. I want to be in a position to take the knight when it arrives there, and I think I want to do that right away, as otherwise he could be glued in with this move, maybe. Oh! Remember I was talking about that bishop? That c-pawn in case it moves. All right, I am officially up a piece. Big blunder there. Queen e2, and only then that advance. Now my bishop's under under attack. I was saying I was going to take the knight if it arrives there. I don't think things really change so much just because I'm up a piece. Yeah, I think it's just all the more useful to trade away and move forward. Um, Actually, I'm on the rook. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that's a reason to have not... Uh, taken the knight. I could have captured the rook. He could still do it. I'm okay. I, I know I'm not making the best with this sequence, but we are trading and I'm up a pawn and the exchange at the end of the day, so can't really complain too much. Also down on the clock. Half open file. Peel open this file for my rook. I Yeah, I mean, I should really never get into this situation where I even have to play up the exchange instead of up a clean piece. But here we are. Let's go. Queen b2 hits a lot of stuff. Queen gonna get trapped? Nah. Here, here, here. Rook b1 is there. I feel like in a way, you know, just a quick a quick rough thought, 
before I go in there, I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm already up the exchange. If it really came down to me having to give up my queen for a rook, maybe maybe things are still going to work out for me in the end. I'm being gifted some pieces in this game. Two miners. Let's get at the back rank. We'll take with check. And just remove any nonsense. Make sure that pawn is long gone. And we got rook e1 nearby. Trades. One quick check before I move that rook forward. This guy's unprotected. No way to take advantage of it, though. And no way to, to guard the rook along the diagonal. So more material has to be given up. Mate and two threat. And we should have mate shortly. Okay, now they resigned. All right, good game, Sir Strife. Round one is in the books. You can late join up until round four. If it's round five, that's that's the cutoff. We're beyond the halfway point. No late joining allowed. So when you late join, I think you end up getting a half point. Maybe some of you have already done that. Um, yeah, there's... Are these late, yeah, see, so there's late joiners, so it's very common. So feel free to late join if you would like. I'll throw out the link once more time, one more time, once more time. <laughs> there you go. Join the team. The team is right here, and you should see it listed. This is live when it's in orange, or excuse me, the orange means that it's upcoming or ongoing. All right, so back to the Swiss. And let's jump in on a game that's currently going on between these two, Doctor of Love versus Remy. Okay, things are looking good. White is up a pawn. And maybe able. oh, I was thinking after this, the rook has to take, but then that pawn would bolt. Yeah, that rook needs to stay right there. Ooh. Okay, it's okay. This is this is being lined up. I was thinking it's White's move. Uh oh, the old deflection tactic was there. F four was not needed. This is the threat. Kick the king away from the knight. Remy's down on the clock. And gets out of that deflection tactic. This is a tough pawn to work around. This rook is the. It's cl it's close to mate if the king went there. Oh, there's a fork there. Yeah, this is this is not. Uh, I think the rook is the one piece that likes blockading a passed pawn least. Plenty of ways to do it now for white. Just to be a trading machine. Okay, black resigned that one. View the tournament. Still two games going. Let's check out this one. Um, which way is each side going? <laughs> okay, black is going this way. Yeah, black is in trouble. Black is losing. Lamp, Lamp Nick versus B. Brian. Okay, the pawns are all scooped up. Black hoping for stalemates at this point. Okay, Black resigned. Final game? Okay. That was the last one there. Okay, so 62 are now in there. How about the Browns? I see I see you in the chat. Yeah, I know. Hikaru said I was a legend the other day on this stream. Get out. No way. <laughs> All right. Under 20, how many have late joined? Well, first of all, how many have a full point? This guy got a buy in round one. Be paired up soon. I don't think you get more than a buy. All right, so we got 20 
21 with one point, a good chunk with uh, half point draws or late joiners. Okay, Shitako, familiar. A familiar opponent. All right, what do we want to do? What do we want to play? Let's go with uh, let's go with B three. Make make Naka proud, right? He's a fan of B three. The speed chess champ. Speed chess champ. No Magnus versus Nakamura. MVL said no, 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 no. Not so fast, man. I have something to say. All right. E5 is the big square that comes to mind in this setup. Every one of my moves so far is directly or indirectly influencing that square. Trying to remove a piece that's controlling E5. Everything is focused on this. Is this where it ends? Can I put no more pieces on E5? I could play D5, D4. Let's go with D4. Not really concerned that my bishop's eyes will be shut down along the main diagonal. Okay. We're out of a pin. Um, what about, what about a chop right now? Yeah, I'll chop. Let's get my knight here. So I, I kind of have an eye in one of these two moves. I'm not sure when I want to pull the trigger on either one. I don't have enough support for e4 just yet. Queen e2, knight b4, it's a little irritating defending c2. Could always fall back. Do I want to give up the bishop for knight? I should have, I, I was just ready to say, maybe I should have uh, considered taking the knight with my bishop first. All right, now I, now I could strike, and I think, think this makes a whole lot of sense right now within this structure. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm better. I, I really don't think I'm, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think that I'm better here. Um, before this capture, I was thinking about queen e2, maybe, maybe that, but I, I'm liking more queen on c2. Um, uh, maybe, maybe we chopping at the bishop. I want to be careful. I, I, you know, if I, if I initiate this exchange, then my queen's post will be brought into question. So I think it makes more sense to maintain the tension. I'd like to see this capture, right? Cause that improves my knight. And then this pawn isn't so happy. He's isolated. So we both do well, I believe, in short, to keep the tension. I'm deciding now whether or not I want to put a rook on D file, C file. Either this or this. Uh, or E4 is, is running through my mind. Kind of like E4. But why? Not really sure. Okay. E4 is committal. I could go with the non committals. Hmm. What would I like to have happen here? Dark square bishop exchange, a bishop a knight on e knight on c five, that seems difficult to pull off. Could try and close things down with c five. That might be I'll give that a try. Here I have b4. I could maintain this. So I'm I'm basically trying to play against this guy. I, I mean, it could still have some activity along this diagonal. Um, yeah, I'll go for this space. Let's start with this. Now, that bishop will definitely have some activity. And when bishop a6 is in there... Where does my rook go? I feel like the e-file is best. I'm going to keep this option open. I have to be a little concerned, maybe, with the bishop d3. That can sting. This file opens up, and I end up in some fork. Hmm. Well, let's centralize at this point, yeah. 
This I still have B4. Maybe I'm misplaying it a bit. Rook to B8 could be annoying. Okay, no, let's go with this. I have different I have a different way. I can be defending against C5. I, I could play bishop to D4. So what am I what am I really looking to do here? I, do I really want to capture on D5? I don't I don't think so. This pawn's unprotected as well. Timely, timely, timely night jump and striking at c6 and maybe something else. All right. 48 seconds each. All right. Start with that. Bishop on f6, I play e5. Maybe even a queen on c3 could be could be a little fun. Yeah, queen on c6 will also. Okay, f6. Thinking maybe a little bit more about capturing now. I like that there's this uh, square here. Also, this you have to take with the pawn. Otherwise, I get that pawn. Yeah, I think it's okay to capture here. Th this move takes away two very good squares from the miners. Um, uh, the queen is restricted. Uh, my knights need to do something else. I mean, they're kind of ridiculous, aren't they? They're pretty ridiculous. What are they doing? Contributing not at all in this position. Let's jump around. We got some sweet squares. Oh, rook to, rook to c6 was a move. If I was looking to be a little greedy. But, yeah, these knights over here look look pretty good. Let's jump in here. I'm, I'm, I want to get rid of that, that bishop, I think. Oh, I don't know. f5 was looking good, too. But maybe I end up parking both. Both knights, I gotta watch my time. Both knights on f5, g6 at the end of the day. Mm, we'll go on. Thought about this, but this guy kind of still scares me. He's around. Time and time. Ooh, they just barely pulled that move off. Wow, they are living off of the. Oh, they mouse slipped. <laughs> One of their moves there right at the end. I think when they captured my rook, it said two seconds right on the nose. Barely pulled that one off, Shataka. Okay, good game. Down to the wire there. Really just felt equal right around here. I don't know. That's my assessment. What's the computer think? Likes black a tick. Yeah, didn't feel like I had anything. Okay, back to tournament land, round three, starting after these six games are over. Ooh, what's happening here against I'm a Kitty? Uh, black, oh, okay, this isn't. Oh, okay, this guy's going this way. Gonzo. All right, Black's going to get this one. I'm a, I'm a Kitty is going to get this one. So no upset in that one. Let's check out a different one. What one's interesting? This one's not too interesting. Okay, that's the same game. Uh, what's what's going on here? It's a lot of pawns. Uh, queens are off. Yeah, this looks... It's opposite color bishops. They're all drawn, right? Not here. Well, you could play bishop there. Land the fork. Okay, black's going to get this one here. Yeah, time is not going to be a problem. We got the increment. And what about this one? Okay, this one's this one's Gonzo too. So I'm expecting round two to wrap up shortly. Hello, Brid Bridgen. It's going all right. Okay, that's that's it for round two. 
It's in the books. Who's this? The kid who plays the kid. <laughs> nice name. All right. Um, oh, I missed some alerts here. Twerp, thank you for the prime resub. Two months in a row. DJ Double M, thank you for the host. Mermaid, thank you for the tier one resub seven months in a row. Very Low Sodium, thank you for the tier one resub 34 months in a row. Mark, Mr. Snatch Pato, thank you for the tier one resub 33 months in a row. You say, how's it going, my man? It's going pretty good. Uh, thank you for gifting subs. SMKO. Thank you for uh, the gifted sub. Okay. I'm all caught up. And let's see what we're going to do here for this round three. Facing, facing the C5. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that was just a countdown not to lose. My clock would simply start after that. Okay. This is not an arena. <laughs> Look at one of the spectators here. The Fred defense. The Fred defense. Okay. I like that the pieces are moving much smoother for me. I like it. All right. Let's go here. All right, you're just going to dive right in. I'm going to chop. Chop and challenge. What's this? Pawn in my house? I'm going to try and do something about that. I have to be careful. This guy's unprotected. So we don't, we don't want to allow some kind of queen a4. All right, let's castle right now. Yeah. Now, if knight here, I could consider a chop -a I don't know if this is really the right idea. I, I think I'm supposed to move the bishop and not be capturing like this. All right. Um, This looks unusual, but I may do it. Yeah, I'm going to go here. Um, I'm kind of giving giving away a lot. With this move, I'm basically saying that I'm going to try this to put pressure on this pawn. And then maybe they do this and my bishop is is free to move about on its natural diagonal. Uh, what if they don't cave? If they try and maintain this point. Well, let's see. Maybe that's what they're going for. Seems like a pretty good idea all right all right they're doing it i think this is a very good idea it makes my bishop look ridiculous um here 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 bishop takes bishop here do i give up the exchange could be a little fun subjectively Almost certainly bad. What a, look at look at these knights. Oh, I like the white knight much better than the black knight here. Hmm. <laughs> um. All right. I'm not really a fan of giving up a pawn and trying for some bishop h3 move. Here, here, here. I maybe I would have something some play on the light squares. I mean I likely would. But they don't have to even take the rook. They could just say I'm 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 full. I've taken a pawn and that's all I want. All right. Yeah, this was this was not a very good opening play. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Ugh. I'm kind of looking to close things down. 
Maybe. Or do I just get rid of this knight first and then play d6? Maybe that's that's the best approach. If they try and support it, I can maybe go here and then play d6. As soon as e4 is in, d4 as a whole. Maneuver like this tries to take advantage of that gap. Instead of shutting my bishop in with d6. They're in the tank. They better not be listening. I might throw a stream tactic your way. Watch out for the stream tactics. I haven't forgot about them. Stream tactics. Stream tactics. Okay. Can this point be maintained if I throw a little a little heat on that guy? Let's let's see. What are you doing about that? Maybe a little too soon. Okay. I mean, you could maintain B4 with rook B1, but then at least I have the file. Maybe this is giving me a little something on the queen side. Why well, could take here and solve all my problems? That'd be nice. Queen could see, bishop could see. All right. And now my rook says, wait a second. Wait, can I not take this pawn now? <sighs> Why not? I got I got three on this point now. I think they're missing that uh, this rook is around out of out of nowhere, out of right field. He has emerged, patrolling the fifth, stable. Take with the knight. No, I thought I didn't like this knight, and I was welcome to a knight exchange. And now I'm not all of a sudden. What's keeping me from that? In this instance, I don't want this bishop's eyes to open up so easily. I also am looking at d4 with tempo, and then maybe d5. So that's why. Alright, so now I could shut things down. Yeah, I like e4 a real lot. Uh, this guy's the main thing. You know, I just don't want him to see so easily. I guess I have to block in this guy if I, this guy wants to see. This knight is kind of stupid. My rook was under fire. I didn't have to move it. Okay. Tell you what. We're going to put the bishop right here. And he's going to just act like a, a tall pawn for a little while. He's just a little pawn there. Happy little pawn. Try and get rid of their best piece. I like that. Maybe a saccharoni? All right, let's flick in a flight square. Flick in a flight. Prepare to double on the A file. Oh, I'm in a pin. I don't like that. Let's try again. Let's go here and then double. We're both living off the increment. This is a hole. So this kind of maneuver, maybe I, I could sneak that in fast. Where are you going, knight? Oh, a bishop. You see, they're floundering. Tell you what, let's get this kind of construction in. Okay, this knight, I think, just needs to go. Play that move. No, okay, let's lock it down. They, they should have played f5, I think. All right, baby step it, man, baby step it. Don't be any, don't be in any rush. I'm on the queen. We're making, we're making progress now. My bishop's glued in there. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know. I think the king is best there. Uh, let's crack it open soon. Uh, I think he's safest here. No, no rook checks with tempo. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We got pins. Um. Oh, that's not a freebie. 
Careful now, careful. Queen's covering that. Oh, did not see that one coming. Oh, my rook's hanging. <laughs> it's a free rook in the corner. Don't see it. It's a free rook in the corner. They saw it. I'm in trouble. Got the material back, though. Crazy bishops. They're like sharks. Whew. Bishop here. Rook there. Getting the queen. Take the queen. Take the rook. Holy cow. Got a, Oh, I had a... I had a pin there run pawn I got a little too crazy there oh okay good game okay that was the final game yeah I didn't that wasn't that was a weird opening <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't revisit that opening anytime soon <laughs> yeah, I see in the chat, splendid game, Jerry. I don't think so. Not even close. Spielman7, thank you for the tier one resub four months in a row. Uh, Shiv Dragon, thank you for the prime, re prime sub. And Aquil Angula, thank you for the prime resub 33 months in a row now. Appreciate your support. All right, so we got 70 in there. I'm a kitty from Leeches. Okay, let's go with D4. Let's try something different. Bishop G5. Early in bounds. Okay. What can we say? I have a, a big eye on this guy. What are, what are you going to be doing? All right, let's put this guy here. I want to keep this guy free to keep uh, D4 rock solid if it's under fire. You know, Black doesn't have an inten any intention to do that. I'm thinking this is going to be the play. A knight on f6. That e4 square is looking pretty good for black. Um, let's start with this. And I'm keeping open the option for h3 and g4 should this move be played. Let's see. Okay, they're not, they're not going with f5 just yet. Um, could I, could I go... I could I could probably go for this kind of stuff, yeah. Queen on f3. Queen on f3. How's that? Hmm. I could consider a break. There's a lot of, there's a lot of different ideas here. A knight on f6 is easily offset by this Doubled pawn. Um, I'm going to give this a try. Queen on f3. Maybe it's also simply supporting a knight on f4. Where's the break going to be? So actually, queen, queen f3 stops this f5 move altogether. Okay, well... If my queen's on f3, my knight's not going to go there. My queen's not going to go anywhere else. Queen doesn't currently have any safe square besides this one. Maybe I should have looked at that before playing my last move. But there's no piece that could attack her. I mean, this would be threatening to win my queen. May have to watch out for that. There could be even some some tricky things right where chop chop my <laughs> like that stream tactic video if you've seen it 
Chop, chop, my queen is hit, my rook is going to fall. Okay, so still gearing up for this. I'm going to flick this in. Yeah. Um, okay, so what about g4 right now? Let's go with g4. g4 is saying a lot about my king and his future home. That's not going to be on the king's side. Super weakening. All right, my rook is happy. So now this idea of a knight getting into this square isn't... Uh, I don't know about that anymore. Now that the F pawn isn't there to secure a knight, you kind of need two pawns around if you want to establish a knight in that E4 square. Uh, are there any checks in the position? One, but it's not good. Black doesn't have any checks. Queenside castle E4. I mean, things have opened up a bit where I think I... There's potential to be pretty direct. There's there's the potential to uh, play some pretty direct moves, some forceful moves. Do I want to capture that queen? My first thought is to 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 duck the exchange. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep the queens on. This move sort of concerns me. Okay, they're allowing me to play this move. Let's castle. Now what? Okay, let's go here. If they strike at this pawn one way or the other, they end up with a split structure, isolated pawns. Okay, they're just uh, increasing the pressure on this point. Oh yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Ooh, their queen's going to get trapped, though. <gasps> Ooh, their queen is trapped. Ooh. This is going to hurt. No soup. No queen trade. She's cooked. Nope. 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 Just duck the queen exchange. Yeah, she went. She's a little too close. I have enough defense. I guess we take with the queen. Best spot for the rook is the corner. Knight is unprotected. How do I break things down? I guess we start here. Jump. Jump in with the knight. All right, um, we'll take towards the center still, this guy up here. So they have a rook and a pawn for the queen. Knight f4, declined. Let's get a flight square for my king. No dark square bishop around. Am I okay with that pawn? Like still, let, let's let's play in the center. Oh, I get the knight with check. Big detail right there. Could I have taken here? That was concerning me a little bit. Let's remove the glue. Oh, rook here. On the bishop. All right, let's get rid of that pawn.
You don't have any potential checks there. Ready to take the Rook with check. And we don't care about losing a pawn. Nothing, nothing to fear over here with these guys. We got a check. Only need the strength of a rook at that point. Okay, good game. I'm a kitty. The queen got a little too crazy there. Um, yeah. I once more kind of do not like that. Uh, how I was playing the opening there. Let's check out another, another one here. B. Brian. Against violin and viola. The B. Brian is up a piece here. A knight versus pawn, but soon a full knight. Just go hunting. Take here. Yeah, that's the cleanest. Knight takes pawn there was good too. All right, white is going to get this one. Maybe we. How's that other one doing? Going. This one here, fishy sushi. Yeah, this one, All right, black. All right, yeah, that's a good way to get out of the pin. Black's going to get this one. I guess we'll just stay here. I don't think anything's going to be... Too exciting on this one. Interested in seeing the standings, maybe. Am I going to play in the Winter Marathon? Yeah, maybe. When is it? It's happening this weekend? Yeah, I know. Sorry about the Browns last night. I know. It was, it was, a, it was a very good game. 12 touchdown game. A lot of action. Uh, Torque TV, thank you for the tier one resub 12 months in a row, 13 total now. Appreciate it, man. What's the winter marathon's time control? 3 0. Uh, how long did it take me for to get approved as a Lee Chess streamer? I don't, um, I think I might have been proved automatically. I, I don't think I, no, uh, I don't know if I'm right about that. Not very long is my, my quick answer without thinking too much. So I was already, I was already, you know, it was, I was already streaming for a while. It's kind of established, you know. I think it's been close to 10 years. Been streaming. So. Oh, what happened here, by the way? <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Yeah, a rook fell and now the tables have turned uh can white win this one uh who knows what's going to happen at this point you could be tricky if the rook goes in the corner after the there's a possibility for this like rook here rook here and if the rook yeah it's gone now rook Oh, there was a rook check and the bishop would have would have fallen. Rook right now, there it is. Ah. Uh, down goes the bishop. The tables turn. Approaching move 100. This one's still not over. Get over there, king. Blockade. You're not there though in time. Okay. 
This is probably the final game. Imagine that other one is over. Okay. Over. Black resign on that one. Okay. So we are four rounds in. Malapost. It's got the question mark. Nobody knows what rating. Okay. So how many with four? Three with four. Three and a half. Bunch of threes. These are all the participants. Some have gone into pause mode. All right, let's see what we get next. Well, if he's in pause, I'm going to get this guy, Community community Chess 01. All right. Let's see if I can play a good opening. Okay, let's, let's just go with C6 this time and have too good a time with E5. All I'm looking to do with c6 is maintain a pawn on d5. Maybe in some cases I, I take a pawn and try and hang on to it. Not the case here. a6. I don't know if it's good, but I I go I go with a6 to uh, have this square for my rook. And <laughs> sometimes I would say this sarcastically, but um because it's normally a very weird looking move, but I want to be prepared to meet queen b3 with defense of b7. Um, uh, queen moves to try and defend uh, b7 are subjected to knight attack, rook attack on the c file. Okay, so now, I mean... Once I put my knight on this square, queen b3 can could be, could be met conveniently with knight to a5. And now that there's this pawn on a4, I don't have uh, any concern of, let's say, queen a4 check. So I, I like seeing a4 for that reason. No fear of lines with queen a4 check. And also uh, this square being a hole, um, you know, my knight has is I on the b4 square, so I might as well play the move I said I was going to play. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, is bishop b5 check going to be played here? Uh, no. That's not happening. Queen, queen, The queen could get trapped. Queen b4 and she's toast. I I could even, I could be more direct actually e5 queen b4 e5 yes yeah, so she has to go back home is my knight out of play now he's on the edge he's not he is excited about the c4 and b3 squares there might be a fork nearby queen d2 okay so we're 10 moves in I'm happy about my position. A4 seems misplaced. Um, A6 is purposeful. Knocks out two squares from these guys. I wasn't really intending... I think A4 was played to stop B5, but I really had no intention of playing B5. Here, here, or here to preserve my bishop in the event of knight to H4. Nah, I'll go here first. Get one step away. If knight here, I could maybe be a, a little annoying with bishop to g4. If white really wants to, they could hunt my bishop, but they have to make several concessions on the king's side for that, and I'll maintain a solid structure over the whole board, really. This is my primary focus, to maintain a solid kingside structure, so he's nice and cozy. I'm expecting these next few moves for me to flow pretty, pretty smooth, logical stuff. Nothing uh, 
too sophisticated here. Queen on b6, rook on c8. Yeah. Um, I've played here before, but I, re I really don't mind uh, initiating this exchange. I know I helped the queen out a tick. But I'm okay with that. So rook on f to c1. And there's the fork. So this guy, if you're going to contest the c-file, nope. So the fork is official. Symmetrical structure on king on the king side in the center. Main differences here: queen side structure. Um, that fork isn't going anywhere, by the way. Any, it's not going away, by the way. I would prefer to see a rook move before grabbing one of the rooks. That way, white wastes a move. I like the idea of flicking in a flight square as well. So let me do that. Trying to squeeze the most out of this situation I'm in. It's tempting to want to take a rook, but I think it's best to not take right away. For tempy reasons. Okay. We could still play this game. Something I, I may have to be on the lookout for is this and the queen's attacking the knight. Um, but, I mean, I, I, could, I could take here with check. So I think we're still going to play this little who's, who's more patient game. Hmm. All right, so now I'm getting a full... Full rook. Maybe, maybe more, because this I could take like that. And then there'd be a knight. Okay, I don't have to I don't have to run it like this now, so I could play just improving my knight, getting in a spot to liquidate, liquidate, and be up a rook versus a pawn. I'll start right here. I could go hunting for pawns, but I prefer to put my queen on a stable square where she's gluing everything together. Everything's defended. And just look for a queen trade. Let's put this guy up here. Queen on this square could be good too. Not now. Let me uh let me just back off for a second. Let me try something else. Let's control both files. Let my rook do some probing. Grab a pawn. All right. Let's take here. Got this square covered. Time? No time. Okay. Yeah, this is the one move that's out of out of place, I feel. Pawn on A4. So do without that. I think we're in a gonna be in a much different situation there. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Six games still going. Let's check out not that one. Just want a full piece. Okay, what about this one here? The little GM. The little GM against Lampnik. How are things looking here? Oh, this pawn's close to queening. Be a little careful. I'm gonna stop. Ooh, he's, ooh, white's gonna... No. King could always play here. And reply to a check. Yeah. 
Black. Black's going to get this one. You can't get him, but this guy's promoting with check first. Okay, Black's going to take this. Let's check out another game. Okay, White resigned that one. One game going. This one here. <laughs> uh, White's going this way. Okay. We'll just watch the... This one played a mate, I guess. The final game. Anaximander, thank you for the tier one resub eight months in a row. Raffle link, thank you for the tier one resub nine in a row. Ten total. And Wayne Beam, thank you for the tier one resub seven months in a row, seven total. You add, hey Jerry, hope you're healthy and well. Thanks, man. I'm doing I'm doing all right. Hope you're doing well as well. All right, let's see the mate. Get him on the edge. There it is. And mate next. Boom. All right, final one. Round five is in the books. This guy is still in pause mode. He's gone. Only wanted to play four. He's out of here. All right. So I got five, two, three, four, five, six players with four. It's your top 20. Let's go through them all still. Okay, let's see what we get. Round six coming up. Um, I don't know. Not him. Could be the little GM, the casual player, the kid who plays the kid, the doctor. Okay, the casual player. Let's play F4. All right. Let's try this. Now that I know this guy's going to go here, I don't have to worry about any any pressure by the bishop on b4. So b4 says what? Open a door for the bishop and grab some space on the queen side. Maybe be annoying to the knight. Make sure this rook doesn't come to life. c4? Let's go with c4. Yeah. Challenge their strongest pawn. Okay. Maintain tension. a4. I'm making a lot of pawn moves. Five pawn moves. I think I want to maintain a pawn on this square. Why, though? I mean, if my idea is to maintain a pawn there, that would mean giving black a passed a pawn, passed, potentially, connected passed pawn. Um, I don't like a, a4 anymore. Maybe I just take... I help the knight. Why Why take? You take me. Let's go here. At the end of the day, who would have who would have thunk it? You just develop a piece. And later you realize, oh yeah, these are the reasons why it's better. Instead of helping their knight, you take me, help my knight. Take here, take there. All right, the knight has made a move. What's this guy going to do now? Okay, I may want to play this. Let's control the knight. 
Might be eyeing up this square. Maybe I go baby step. No, I don't like that. What about a chop here? Very indecisive. <laughs> Not sure what I want to do. Um, Bishop e2. You see, playing this move, knight to b6 concerns me. Also, the clock concerns me. I don't like my structure. This just doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why I'm struggling to find something here. All right, I'm giving up this big square, I realize. Yeah, it's a big square. Why did I do that exactly? I don't know. Uh, I was concerned about this and the knight jumping in here. That's that's what it was. I don't like my position. <laughs> Knight on g4. Quick jab at e3. It's unprotected. It's a hole. All right. This square can be controlled so easily. I have... I have a little space here on the queen side. Big deal. Okay, yeah, they're trying to squeeze me here. Can't let that pawn go any further. You've gone far enough. I don't even know how I follow up here, if I'm being honest. What do I do? I don't want the b-file to open up. Bishop will have some, some pressure on him. Pressure on the pawn. Rook can't go too far. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, queen on a5. The moves seem to be much easier for black to play. Here, bishop f5 here. Knight there, trade light square bishops, put the knight back on e4 and say, say who's the boss? All right, I guess we just keep things closed. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Bishop here, I could play knight h4. Potential Pac-Man Knight, if he tries to do something fancy, still with the discover check, I'll, I'll lock it down entirely. Let's get this guy here. This this probably shouldn't have been allowed, this, this kind of space. I, I mean, I have some, okay, some ideas here. I think I've gained a lot of ground these last couple moves. Um... Yeah, let's 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 drop a knight right in the center. Thought about h3 as well. It's tough to kick my knight away because of this pressure I have on g6 with h6 in there. So long term, you know, a rook, a, a, a knight, a bishop can all can all scoop up that pawn. Flight square. Maybe if I'm feeling a bit more aggressive, g4. I could consider that. It is pretty locked. A through D files are all fixed. This really isn't an option. Um, still can't play this because my bishop and knight are there. You'd have to take my knight first. I think I'd be taking. Uh, let's let's get a little aggressive. I think I'd be taking like this. Oh, I shouldn't have allowed that move. Oh, should also not lose on time. Yeah, I should not have allowed this this knight to jump in there. Now they could kick my knight. Oh, they're not. Oh, I gotta go so much faster. Shut up and play, man. Um, oh, living off the increment. Attack my rook. All right.
Guess we'll take the queen knight here, queen here, defend that. Don't go, don't go too crazy, knight. My bishop can uh, land a check aroni. Oh, am I threatening that? Oh, I would have liked to have calculated maybe that. Whoa, that knight had a move. That can sting. Ooh, that hurts. Queen's Gonzo. Hmm. Okay, good game, the casual player. <laughs> These uh this is not good for me. I I mean, what's the computer say I should play here? Doesn't feel like it's equal. I don't know. Struggling to find moves. I think once I play D4, there's no way I could be better. Yeah. There's no way. Alright. Yeah, this was this was bad. Giving up that monster square. To everything. Okay. Back to tournament. What's happening here? White's going to win that most likely. Okay. Okay, there's only one game now. Black's going to take it. Andrew 9. Straight to mate. There it is. Okay. Round round seven will start soon. Okay. 30 seconds. Have I tried Fog of War? No. <laughs> Thanks, Twerp. I'm swell, huh? All right. Doctor of Love. All right. Doctor of Love. France. Okay, let's try... Played a Sicilian already. What about D6? Try and do something a little different. Maybe it still turns into a Sicilian. How do I want to set up here? I guess I guess we're gonna key in on a square and go with it. Okay. They have no intention of playing D4 here. They're going for some simple, simple setup that can kill me if I'm not careful. Okay, let's go with this. This idea. I need to make sure d4 is not played. So as soon as the knight arrives here, I have to dive in. And I'm playing this so that I could play here without this, exchanging my bishops. So right here, right now, knight needs to go here. Because if these pawns get exchanged, then this is a real sore spot. My bishop is uh, not around to conveniently defend this. So my knight goes here. I'm not obstructing any obstructing any of my pawns with my pieces. This is the only pawn that's obstructed right now. Also, I cannot castle um, king side. That would drop a pawn. Knight here. Really not sure how to play these positions. See if here, here, I want to be able to meet f4 with f5, but then am I not losing this guy? Rook to b8. These ideas can happen soon. The knight retreats and then they fight for control over this square.
Not sure. Let's go with Rook to B8. <clears throat> Maybe Rook to B8 and B6. B6 and then uh, this this move. Yeah. They may be ready to play this. Maybe I could go here, though. Let's try that. Let's try h4. I, I haven't committed to kingside castling just yet. Maybe I get the h file, or they're going to shut it down. Not a single trade yet. I have checks. No good check on this one. But I still have checks, so... Maybe tactics are, are closer to favoring me than white. Since I have checks and they don't. Alright, we're definitely taking with the piece. So right here, like these kind of tricks might already be nearby. Right now? Here there's there. Here there's this, which is annoying. Or is it? Can I play a little trick around Can I be a sneaky guy? <gasps> oh, you have a really good move. But then I have that. Trick around It's not like a hope chess move. It's not an inferior move. Okay, so they fell for the trick. Unless I'm missing something. This tricky guy. Okay, now I can no longer rely upon my knight. So it's time to flee. Be satisfied. I've won a pawn. Remember that I cannot castle. Gotta go back. Being kicked around now. It wasn't the, the greatest pawn to end up winning, but... King has no moves. Only one save square for their king. Maybe that... Maybe that factors in. Okay, what can we do here? I can't castle. <laughs> this guy's moved. This guy's moved. Hmm. How to improve? Play in the center. Play in the center is the way. Made on H2. Here we go. Try to coordinate with this this guy. Okay. What do we do? So I was thinking I could take with the knight. I can't take with the knight. I gotta take with the pawn. Okay. Chop. E files open up and I cannot castle. Also, bishop f4 is gonna sting if I try to get on that diagonal. Uh, I really wasn't sure where I should go with that bishop. Queen here. Rook on the D file soon. <sighs> Playing too slow as usual. It's going to come back to bite me. King on F8. I think I need to do that soon. I have pressure here, so I can maybe grab here if the knight moves, but I'm I'm more concerned about my king's safety, so I want to get off the e-file <laughs> like yesterday, you know? I could put a lot, of, a lot of pressure on this guy. That could be painful. Yeah, let's, let's just, you know, get out of pins and stuff. All right, their clock is running low as well. Now, do they like it? I've been living off of the increment 
for a while now. Centralize. I like that they unpinned my knight. Okay, I have a lot of heat right here. A lot of heat. I could have captured it, but I just still want to kind of develop here. Don't mind seeing these trades. What about now, though? Knight here. We got mates soon, huh? H1, we get the exchange. My king is nice and cozy here. Give up on the H file, let's centralize. Push a pawn, save a pawn. Push a pawn. Keep pushing. Keep going. Got a pivot square. Bishop's in a pin. They're down on time. Okay. Got the W. Overall, though, not too happy with uh, how I'm playing these openings. The majority of the games, they're not really going how I'd like them. Good game, Doctor of Love. Let's check out this one, Rook and Pawn Ending. Seems close here. Balanced with the pawns. That white king is really active. Ready to grab that pawn. Ooh, really? Here, here? Now, now there is no creating a passed pawn. B4 seemed a little... A little odd. Alright, black has very good coordination. Um, still, still kind of tricky. The rook can't move without dropping one of these two. Oh. Could have grabbed that pawn. With check, and then maybe gone after that guy. He's going back for it. Now it's defended. Time pressure. B. Brian again. We're checking out a lot of games by B. Brian against A. Decine. Yeah, this one looks to be going B. Brian's way. He's going to get a touchdown. Check here. Yeah, everything's everything's nice and comfortable for black. Ampasan on the way. All right, white resigns that one. Let's check out another. No, we're not. That was the last game. Okay. I know who I'm getting this time. The kid who plays the kid. He's only slipped up once against this guy. Malapost. Who's in who went into pause mode? Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, you're right. That's when I started. Yeah, the Justin TV days. Yeah. It started at as that and then it switched over. Actually the first the first spot I was streaming was you you stream. Uh, there wasn't, OBS wasn't even a thing at the time. I had to do some roundabout uh, setup, Adobe, some Adobe Flash program, Cam, Cam Twist program. <laughs> now it's, now it's so much easier. OBS and you're, you're golden. All right, the kid who plays the kid. Should I be surprised here? All right, we got we got the kid playing the kid. I like I like meeting e5 immediately with d5. What do they call that? The move Petrosian would be proud of. Petrosian Petrosian system. Okay, knight here right now because I want to stop knight to h5 in case this guy gets kicked around. The knight tries to get in here. I like having a, a direct shot on that guy. Now, uh, let's be aggressive. Let's go with the H4. Caveman attack. Caveman variation. I'm making that up. If I could get this and then that, I'm really happy about 
black not getting a f5 in so easily maybe it could work tactically but here we go this is you don't have to flinch here is the thing okay this was still a move because if i take my bishop gets squashed so this is this is a really big deal things have changed quite a bit these last two moves the character of the position could have changed with a different 12th move by black so now i have an opportunity to stop f5 for good and turn this into a, a long strategic battle that will likely ensue on the queen side where i have space so there's still a pawn break i need to watch out for c6 things can not open up over here but this one should be under control by me for the duration of the game ideally i want this exchange in and a knight on f5 this guy's kind of dead for the whole game there i've seen this maneuver but that uh takes quite a bit of tempi also gone for this but that's going to take some time as well first things first um do i castle play a3 f3 not castle i'll go with castles first moved a lot of pawns in front of my king but i do not foresee this position opening up on the king side it is locked so eventually i could go for this kind of stuff i may want to baby step it though i have to be careful of chop chop and b5 so these kind of moves may be threatening this advance because then my knight gets pushed around so i may have to insert a4 which gives up a really big square on b4 not quite sure okay they're taking first uh i want to maintain a pawn on this square so this is i think this is very helpful to me because now i have the c4 square for my knight which can play a nice role like knight c4 into b6 is grabbing my attention let's begin with putting a rook on the only open file just like black did yeah and now that knight right there is without question their best piece so i'm going to try and get rid of it i have a space so you know <clears throat> normally i would want to keep these exchanges to a minimum but uh i think in order to make some progress i need to initiate some exchange this knight is just way too good and these attempts to try and get in b4 i think are not so practical okay maybe i duck the exchange now i don't i don't know okay well if i take here no i'm not really too concerned about that uh i'll take with the knight i'm gonna take towards the center i could get the light square bishops off so they're they're actually considering taking with the the pawn i have a passer but their knight finally has a decent square okay that's what they're going for so now timing is very important these guys right here could turn out to be an unhealthy three versus two i could clamp down with a4 i think it's very important i play this move right now and ensure i get the light square bishops off in long term i'm looking to do what uh slither in along the light squares i'm not sure how i'm gonna pull that off exactly yeah i'm not really sure how i'm going to manage that let's do this first so my queen doesn't have to constantly babysit this this pawn uh how to make progress it's not easy start with queen here i'm not so sure i can make progress here i mean will they allow me to get this in It's an interesting decision for sure taking away from the center that knight a square okay now 
Now I could get this in, and I don't have to, don't have to end up with double isolated bee pawns. So I think this last move helped me. I want to get rid of their knight for sure. The thing is, though, I don't. I still don't have a pawn break. Maybe, maybe tactically, I have some pawn break. So I could, I could clamp down entirely on these light squares now. But how do I actually make progress is the thing. I really don't see a way to make progress. I can improve my king. Maybe this, if there's the, their queen is unprotected. Sneak my king over a little bit. Right here, are there any tricks yet? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. Could I try anything over here? Let me hint at some trick here. Possibly. Trick there. Maybe fight against the C4 move? I do have an idea. Oh, I'm not even threatening that. All right, I'm going to have to try something else. Um, do I have any tricks? What about this timely break? Is there any, any timely break on the king side? This isn't one of these where I'm trying to win on time, especially with the increment. Hmm. Could try to still be sneaky. Let's go here, hang on. I think my rook belongs on b5. Let me get him back there. We might be at the 50 move mark soon. Setting up something sneaky. Queen, corner pocket. Okay, I have an opportunity for b4. I want my king a little cozier, though. Okay, they... <laughs> Maybe I just missed my opportunity, huh? It was an hour never moment. All right, is there anything over here? <laughs> mm. Hmm, it's just a little too locked. Yeah, um, let me play some more moves. I'm still trying to fish for something, risking losing on time. They have a, they have a perfect setup. Yeah, the sacrifice on a, a a five is just not there. And the, I'm not seeing it. 
yeah, I'll accept. Okay, good game. Mm, got a little too locked. Wow, I really have to scroll back to when there was a pawn move. Ha, <laughs> huh, needed to do something else right around here. A4. Well, if I'm not playing A4, then there's this. Yeah, I don't know. It was kind of tough. Good game. No, let's go back. Uh, here we go. All right, so we are final round now. I think I'm going to get B. Brian. Uh, one of these two, actually, because I already played Doctor of Love. Just a little too locked. A lot too locked. Okay, B. Brian. We played the Sicilian just before I... The first game of this stream was against B. Brian. It was a Sicilian. I'm not going to play the Sicilian this time. Let's do something else. How about the Scandinavian? What do you got? All right, Queen D6. Quix65, thank you for the host. Better Biscuit, thank you for the Prime sub. And Team Edge, thank you for the Tier 1 resub. You beast. 65 months in a row. You add, hope, you're well, hope you've been well, Jerry. Happy holidays. Yes, thank you, and same to you. Uh, question, Ferrari in any tournaments lately? I haven't seen the Ferrari in a little bit. It's probably been a few months since uh, we played. Let's back off just a tick. Just in case that move is hitting. So, basically black's going to be a little bit worse for a while, but enjoys having a nice compact structure. Free, free of what? Yeah, solid structure, free of, free of any weaknesses. I may, this knight is a real bug. I'm gonna I just give the bishop up. If you play the Scandinavian, the Kirokan, you're, you're okay. With giving up your light square bishop for a night. Okay. So who's going to give an inch? This position is a game of inches. So I think I'm going to go same sides castling. Yeah. One, two points unprotected. Can't strike at them both in one swing. Potential checks. How do I want to arrange my pawns? I really don't want to fix my pawns on the light square. This is H5 may be tempting to get in H4, but it'll be stopped cold, and this guy's eyes will light up the future. Can be protected, but then that, that means I have uh, more pawns on light squares, so... That's that means there are prospects for the bishop. All right. Oh, I I think this is the idea. They wanna they wanna simply back that bishop up. I understand now. See, I'm not sure what I should even do here. What's my what's my big bad plan? How about we put this knight on his favorite square? I wouldn't mind seeing this exchange. So I don't think they should allow it. Bishop on f3 does a good job of simply controlling my knight, and then some sees further. The bishop is superior to a knight in this way, with this configuration. All right. Um, let's flick in uh, this h6 move. Stops queen g5 and maybe hints at playing g5, g4. Maybe. Let's go here. Here, double up, see how they react to the pressure. How about this? Yeah, so, something like this. 
I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with some basic plan, right? It involves logical moves. Boom, boom, boom. Put pressure on a pawn. How about that? Boom. Maybe even go here. King B1. Simple enough defense. Okay, so I have ways to break. Um, proceed with caution if I'm going to play this because that extends the scope of the bishop. Still, I think this guy belongs here. It's very, very solid for both sides, I feel. No weaknesses on uh, either end. Okay, you're okay with a queen exchange? If I go here, I wouldn't mind seeing a queen exchange. Let's see. Can I have the queens off? Okay. I like that. Now, how do things change? Are there any new ideas that are now available without the queens on? Almost certainly. I could feel more comfortable playing here without the queen taking advantage of dark square gaps on the queen side. This is not really, uh, I don't know. Well, let's, let's go here. I, why though? Let's see if they take. Why not? You okay, what am I? Okay, so now, now things are changing a little bit in my favor, maybe? Because I could potentially saddle white with a, a target on the queen side. This seems very natural, but I'm going to take here so I have this long-term plan of creating a target in white's position. I may also want to insert this move while I have the chance. Yeah, I don't want to see h5. That can be kind of cramping. Okay, so now... I'm thinking of this kind of maneuver. My king has a path on these light squares. They could make it difficult for me. But this would, you know, they could stop king to f5. But this is going to require the attention of a full rook to satisfy that, uh, you know, to, to, to ward off this plan of getting into the g3 pawn. So I like my position. And this rook specific ending, I should get here right away. Right away. Do I play this move? Yeah, I I want I don't want it to get too locked up now. Okay, uh, here. And I could still pry open the A file. Okay, here. Going for this little hunt. Ready to hunt the G pawn. Now you don't want to trade too much. Gonna need a rook around to defend g3. So let's see. It's a lengthy one. Let's play a little faster, huh? Okay. I could I could play this though, yeah. Why did I need to have that move in? I don't know. Now it's required. To get this break in. Okay, I'm anticipating one rook off, and I want to have this guy around to. Uh... Okay, I got to get this break in finally. Oh, they're in a giant pickle, are they not? King enters. Am I going to get mated? Here, here, here. It's a little scary, but I don't see them weaving a mate. Um, I've gone too far. That rook is perfect for defending. Oh, here I have this. I'm also defending. Do I have... Ooh, they're giving me a window. Is my rook in time to catch the pawns? was not calculated. Wow.
I think the two pawns are outweighing the rook here, just barely. By a tempo? I'm winning this by a tempo? Oh, man. Lucky. By a tempo. Wow. Clearly not calculated. Rolling the dice there. Could have been losing. For sure. Two pawns on the seventh. And the second will outweigh that rook. I just was not realizing, good game, B. Brian. I just was not realizing how efficient your rook would be with one rook being exchanged. I mean, I needed to play it a little differently here. In the end, that rook was made my king look ridiculous. And I think uh, a different approach here, like improving the king first and only doing this, because I'm, I'm kind of stuck. I have to watch this. I, if I'm to get some pawn break over here, I have to have this pawn supported. I could try this. This is too long-winded, though, and I don't know, it feels like here, and I'm going to be in trouble. What's the analysis saying right around here? Should like white. It says it's equal. feels like it's much easier for me to slip up somehow. When is it losing? Is it ever losing for me? It says still equal. It's a draw. Still a draw? How do I interpret that? Rook b5 check. Okay, a timely rook move is necessary, and now I'm now I'm winning with e3. But that's a draw. <laughs> okay, yeah, I wasn't gonna. This is one of those eeny meeny miny mo moments. Flip a coin. Which one do I go with first? So that's the win. Or excuse me, this is the win because after this, there's a check here. And then the rook gets to play here. Whereas this, check a king here and you're not able to get here. Behind the pawn. Okay, that's interesting. In the end, after the king move, it is, I guess, a little, well, it's lost after this king move. Okay. Yeah. Tough to figure that out with just seconds on the clock. Okay, that is the final round. There we go. Thank you all for playing. Here's your top three. Got first there with eight and a half. The kid who plays the kid. Kept me from getting nine out of nine. Good game, the kid who plays the kid. Copious blung blunders. Taking third, B. Brian. Fourth, there's your top ten. Uh, again, if you're interested in uh, competing in the Swiss-style tournaments, um, on the weekends I have them scheduled. Anyone is free to enter. As long as you're part of the team, you're able to go in this area right here. And, uh, yeah, you could track it down once you're on my profile here. LeeChess.org forward slash team forward slash chess network. And you can see what's upcoming. Go to the tournaments. What's completed, what's upcoming. And jump in. So the, I've been scheduling rape, uh, rated rapid and rated blitz. Nine rounds of 3-2 and five rounds of 10-1, as you can see here. Okay, let me go back here. Good games to everyone who played. Let's check out everyone here. 73 in there for this one. Okay. Good games. Oh. I like I like the Swiss tournaments. They're much more laid back.